Well, guys, there we are. I'm going to down a minute. There's enough noise going around in here. So, um, uh, so meanwhile, here's the old, here's the new. I have to take the bracket off. Other than that, it's in. Actually, it came in yesterday, however, the last couple of days I uh, haven't been 100% at that point. Uh, I uh, seem to be getting more and more of those uh, rapid heartbeats, heart palpitations, or whatever it is you want to call them. Uh, which I, oh, oh the back. <laughs> I tell you, this has been a week or two or better. Um, since I was a kid, you know, I've always gotten them. You know, you maybe get one for a minute, you know, and then maybe a year later you may get another one. You know, it's just nothing serious. Uh, but I noticed uh, over the last few weeks, uh, I've been getting them, and they kind of been hanging in there two, three, four hours which is very uncomfortable, uh, you know, because you can't do anything. I and mean, it gets to the point to where, you know, you, you, your legs get weak, <laughs> you know, you just can't do anything. So, uh, yesterday I came out here in the morning, sat down, for no reason at all, bingo, it came on. I said, oh, okay, let me sit here for a few minutes with the fan here and see what happens. Well, about five, six, seven, ten, Minutes in, I said, you know what? There's no sense me st staying out here. Uh, I can't do anything out here. I'm going to go inside and lay down on the couch. So I went inside, laid on the couch. And uh, half hour or so, was gone. I get up, come back out here, starts in again, go back in and lay down. Half hour, fall gone. So I said, okay. So I, Kind of walked around the house for a while, did a few things in the house. Well, you know what? I'm feeling better. Let me paint a wall in the living room. I've been kind of edging a wall a day type of thing. Let me paint a wall in the living room, which is about no oh, eight feet high by maybe uh, 17, 18 feet long. And I use a brush. I don't use a roller. So. Uh, get that done and uh, everything was fine you know laying down just before dinner I'm laying down relaxing bingo came on again and that was about five o'clock so the wife came home she did dinner and uh, it didn't uh, go back to normal until about one o'clock in the morning so uh, yeah it was just one of those things so if it keeps up, uh, I'm going to kind of just take it easy today because I'm just tired. I'm a shot because it does. It wears you out, especially when it's going on for hours. Uh, uh, and it's been happening now over the last couple of weeks to where, or even a month, you know, to where it does last, you know, two, three, four hours. So if, uh, well, not if, when. It happens again if it doesn't go away within the first minute like they usually did uh, I'm just gonna drive over to the firehouse and uh, tell them to take me down to the uh, to the ER and uh, see what happens now I had a heart specialist I have well, I have two heart specialists actually and I'm due for a stress test next month uh, and the other one uh, I call him the funny heartbeat doctor uh, he strictly uh, specializes in, you know, odd heartbeats. And he says, back then, uh, what I have is not dangerous. You know, it's not going to kill me unless I run into something while driving and have an accident or something. He says, but in itself, it's not going to cause any damage. They did have me on, after the heart attack, a medicine called Metoparol. One in the morning and one at night. Hey, Duffy. Oh, yeah? How you doing, buddy? Wait a minute. Oh, you're Lance. Hey, Lance. Yeah. 
I'm sorry. He shook his head. No, I'm not Duffy, I'm Lance. Huh, yeah, you told Daddy, didn't you? Yeah, well, you and your brother Duffy look identical from the back. Yes, you do. Okay. So, uh, but they made me tired. Yeah, I was on them for about a year and a half, two years. One in the morning, one at night. And I said to him, you know, was, if this isn't anything serious, I said, you know, sometimes just being tired uh, isn't the fix, you know. For what I used to get these things, you know, once a year, twice a year for, you know, 50 seconds, 40 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever. They were, you know, a minute or less. It really wasn't worth me taking this medication, you know, because that's one of these things you try to, you try not to take tons of medication, you know, and it seems like the older you get, the more they want to throw on you. And sometimes the medication, you know, the, the, the cure isn't worth, you know, the, the reactions that you're going to get from it. So, you know, I just say, you know what, I'm better just trying to mosey off all this stuff. So I haven't taken any. So we'll see what happens. But uh, again, it hasn't lasted like it has been. So uh, I just want to make sure I figure next time it happens, you know, I'll, uh, like I say, I'll go over to the... Uh, firehouse and jump in an ambulance someone take me down to uh, the hospital and then um, let them do a check make sure everything's okay and uh, you know it's nothing serious other than normal whatever and then I'll take it from there as to uh, what I think I should do or not do to straighten it out like I say I am about 15 pounds overweight uh, you know to them, I'm more than that, but I like being somewhere around 235. That's I feel good between 230 to 35. That's my weight to me. You know, uh, they want you like at 199. You know, wait a minute. You know, if the wind blows, you know, I'll be blowing down the street like a tree leaf. You know, so I said, no, 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 no. I've always been, you know, around that 230, uh, 235. And I like it. I'm comfortable with it, you know. Um, but at that point, uh, like I said, I'm about 15 pounds over right now. But I don't think that would have too much to do with it. Now, I have been eating a lot of junk food over the last two or three weeks. All right. Uh, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not. But meanwhile, let me get back to this because I'm probably not going to get this in today. I'll wait and do it tomorrow when the wife's home. Today is Friday, by the way, and uh, I've been out here all morning. What you want, buddy? Huh? Yeah, I know. I told you I'd give you more attention, didn't I? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, today is Friday. Uh, it's actually 1300, and uh, today is uh, the 17th, 2018. 8-17-2018. Uh, it's not really sunny out, but it's not raining. You know, it's not real dark. It's just... You know, uh, you know, like the sun is just hanging behind a cloud somewhere. You know, it's it's bright, but it's not sunny. A little sticky. Other than that, it's not a bad day all in all. But uh, like I say, tomorrow I'm gonna uh, probably finish this off and get that done. Not that it's a lot of work, but because I'm gonna be down and under and over and bending and stuff like that. Uh, I don't feel like jumping into it today i'll wait till tomorrow so but anyway there it is i will change the bracket off right now and then we'll see what happens now is that going to fix the problem well, my luck probably not this has been a two or three year ordeal with me trying to find that problem well since i had the van the next thing is the ignition i will take a peek at that uh, just to see if i can get the housing off you know tomorrow i'll check that the housing, in my opinion, is the biggest part because the ignition itself I can change just sitting in the driver's seat once I get the housing off. But getting underneath to get all the housing off around this thing is the chore uh, at that point until I can see exactly how it comes off and where the nuts and bolts or screws are, torques, whatever the hell they are, and we'll take it from there. But meanwhile, again, I'm diversing, and I'm sorry about that. What's the time? 
I gotta put my hand up because the white, believe it or not, falls. If I bring this down here, there you go. Um, I have to put my hand up so I can see the uh, the time. So because it's white, and when this was up here like this, the white background up there is right where the time is. So the only way to see it is to put my hand in front of it. Anyway, here I go again, rattling off. Hey, buddy, does Lance want a chewy? Oh, yes, he does. All right. All right, hold on a minute. Let me get him a chewy. He comes first, guys. Here you go. The boys come first. Hey, Duff, here you are. What are you doing with your nose in the trash? Come over here and I'll give you a good chewy. Here. Alright, so that's what I'm going to do. Let me take these off. I'm not going to film it. I'll be right back. 